I'm like throwing shit up. Hey, look, you know what? This stream is missing some coffee. Okay, let's get some coffee. Okay. And now we're good to go. Paint brushes. That's what I wanted to talk about. Paint brushes is that question, man, it never... Well, I, you know, at the store, I, I talk about paint, uh, paint brushes all the time because that's one of the most common questions. So I figured, like, if I talk about it in the store, usually uh, same questions on the internet. And just this morning in a group, I saw that post uh, about, you know, what brushes do you guys like and everything. So uh, the first thing about brushes is uh, really... Uh, the most important thing is brushes um, break. Okay, they will get destroyed. They will get damaged. There's no way around that. Uh, no matter what you buy. Okay, if you buy like the super like cheap uh, army painter, the the dollar store ones, whatever Walmart's, or if you buy the super like eye hand super pricey ones, like these uh, Windsor Newton thing, they will all break. Okay, there's no. It's not you know. It's not you. The brushes. Now, they do break eventually, okay? And we'll talk about brush care, uh, well, maybe in another video segment. Um, so, so br brush care is, is important, but it's, it's okay. It's You have to realize brushes will uh, break, wear down eventually. And um, the quality of, of them usually just tells you how long they can last. And then, you, of course, there's a, like a sweet spot that you, that you have to figure out. So I'll, I'll go through a couple that I like to use. Uh, but the main thing is uh, natural brushes versus synthetic brushes. That's a kind of a good thing. Uh, the rule of thumb is synthetic brushes are much, much uh, cheaper. And for a reason is that they are much, much cheaper. I okay, guess so you pay less for them, but you get a lot more mileage out of them. Um, there's not, not a lot of, uh, of, honestly, things to be said. Is that they just wear... Uh, they just wear a lot more. Like science has not reached that point where it can mimic the the Kalinsky type of hair. Uh, they just break down. However, I like them. I like the new um, the new Games Workshop one. I've tried a lot because they're uh, some of the, the the only synthetic that that uh, that I carry around. Uh, but I really like them for shades because usually the bristles are uh, sturdier, right? Like that's a good good thing about these things is that uh, the brushes are like super supple, so you, you get the, a lot more control. The um, the synthetic ones are a lot more rigid, and I I've liked them a lot for shading. Uh, I've yet to try them for, for contrast, but I'm pretty sure it works kind of the, in the same way that the the rigid uh, is a lot better. So I've found great use for that. That being said, for regular paint, they, they are the worst. I've never gotten them to work more than like, almost like single use. Uh, you know, you use them once and then they're done for. So I have a couple here, a couple of brands here. Uh, this is a Games Workshop one. I, I'm, they're kind of okay, honestly. I like the smaller ones. The, which one is that one? The small, the small layer, I think is one of the good ones. Um, but I really, I use it for like eyes and like, highlighting gems and what like super small stuff really but they, they don't see much use the one i like the best is the um, do i have one here the xl base and the reason i like it is because of that little weird angle uh thingy let's see if you yeah so that little i use i don't use it for bases i use them for dry brush because i like that little angle that's kind of a yeah let's put it there uh that's kind of a thing of like You'll figure it out if you like it, if you don't like it, whatever. Okay, that's kind of a, a you thing. I'm, I personally like it, but I, some, some of my friends were like, nah, this this is, does nothing for me. Uh, it's the same thing for the Army Painter ones. I don't have one right now, but they have a lot of them have the triangular handle. Some people really hate this, and some people really like this. I have not yet found the, I don't know if it's like hand size or something. I like them because I'm clumsy and I drop stuff all the time, and they don't roll. So I kind of like that part, but then I kind of stopped using them. I like this one here, the vehicle, I think, monster, oh, vehicle slash terrain. Uh, I think that one's the big ones. I use them for dry brush because uh, that's another thing. Dry brush brush I don't like. I use regular brushes that I'm committed to giving them the beating of their lifetime, okay? Uh, but they, they, they're usually better for some odd reason to dry brush. I never buy a dry brush brush. I just buy the larger ones and then I give them hell. Uh, it seems to work fine for me. So last thing about brushes is uh, where to start. So uh, uh, like a lot of like things in painting, it's there's no clear answer uh, about like which brush you should get. Uh, what I recommend to everybody is getting three. 
Uh, you get a small one, a medium one, and a large one. And then you try with that. And then the general rule of thumb is you always use the largest brush that you, that you that you can uh, for whatever job. So if you're for painting this little uh, the keeper of secret here, uh, you know, use the largest brush you have to do all of these details. And even when you're doing like the base coats on the the hair or the cloak, the largest one. Even if you think uh, you know, oh, I don't I don't want to mess it up or something. If it's a big surface. Use the biggest brush that you can. That will add to the longevity of your uh, of your brush. Okay. Uh, so you get three. So you get a, a small one, a medium one, and a large one. And then the army painter had the, these cases of like three for the like you say like half a brush or something in price worth uh, of three. That is exactly that. And that was my my main thing. I I usually encourage people to start with this and then adjust. So if after you know one month or two months you you've been painting. And then you you don't like the the small one you never use because it's too small. Uh, so next time just pick a instead of when you, you're about to replace your small one just pick a slightly bigger one, and then maybe the medium one is just perfect, and then the large one is not not large enough, right? Like you want the you know you want the the real the real thing the real tool of finesse right here. So you get a bigger one, and then and then you'll find your kind of like sweet spot of what what you like as a painter. Uh, and, and this is another thing of it's really hard to judge. Like I know. Uh, from you know selling like a I don't know thousands of, of paint brushes, uh, I I usually tend to use larger brushes than what most people uh, are comfortable with. That's you know that that's just me. Some people like so I watch some people paint with like these super tiny brushes, and I I I'm physically hell watching them. You know I, ugh, ugh, how you do this, but they, you know they pull like amazing results and and everything. Um, so really, that's kind of a, a thing where you have to play a little bit, and you'll find your your sweet spot. Uh, as per usual, there's going to be links to a couple of these brushes that I've talked about in the video description.